At the beginning of the 13th century, the Christian world was facing a threat it had never seen before. From the Bosphorus to southern France, cities were sacked and looted, sacred relics stolen, cathedrals turned to rubble, and as many as 20,000 Christians lost their lives in a single day. And the man responsible was the Pope. Innocent is a man with a plan, a plan to expand that began with a span of land in Germanic hands. The Hohenstaufen family of Holy Roman Emperors has been trying to make their secular Germanic kingdom at least slightly Roman by laying claim to Rome, but Innocent isn't having it. In an effort to stop them from going full Habsburg, he takes the young, recently orphaned Frederick Hohenstaufen, cuts off Sicily from the Holy Roman Empire, gives it to Freddy, and tells the HRE find somebody new. So the HRE holds an election. England supports a chap named Otto. The Pope also supports Otto and excommunicates anyone who doesn't because Prince Philip the alternative is a Hohenstaufen, and nobody likes Hohenstaufens. Except for the French king, also named Philip, who declares, Come hell or high water, Philip, stick together! Bite me, England. So now the entire kingdom of France is excommunicated, I guess. But even with God ostensibly against them, Philip and Philip prevailed. Until some rando conveniently murdered Philip Hohenstaufen in his sleep. In the end, it didn't make much difference, because someone feeds Otto after midnight, he marches on Rome, and tries to take over Sicily. So the Pope has no choice but to pull Frederick out of his back pocket, make an awkward alliance with France, and declare war on Otto and England. I don't know about you, but I'm getting flashbacks to the League of Cambrai. Thankfully, this war only lasts long enough for one papal flip-flop, and Frederick takes the reins of the HRE. And to avoid this sort of thing happening again, Innocent lays down some rules where the Pope gets final say over who gets to be in charge. Continuing with the theme of attacking people you previously defended, Pope Questionable wants another crusade, since the last one was a bit of a flop. Not just that, but he taxes all of Western Europe, but mostly France, to fund the endeavor. I'm not just calling on this crusade. I'm going to organize it myself. I claim full responsibility, for this will be my eternal legacy. <laughs> It, it was the Fourth Crusade. He led the Fourth Crusade. If you're a fan of history, you probably know the Fourth Crusade, but I can't not talk about the biggest bumble of the Middle Ages. So now... It went like this. Egypt had taken Jerusalem, so France and the HRE are gonna go beat up Egypt. But they need boats. Venice has boats. Venice has boats for days. But the Crusaders ordered way too many boats, and now they can't pay because not enough people showed up. Don't worry, says Venice. We'll give you our boats if you go beat up Zara. Hmm... Whoa, whoa, we're Christian, we're Christian! God does not want this! Hmm... Ego Wolo. Dandolo Volt! Dandolo Volt! And they ransack the entire city. Then, while they're spending winter on the rubble, uh, a message comes from Constantinople. Hey, banished prince here, looks like you guys are strapped on cash. Come to Constantinople, put me in charge, I'll look you up good, okay? And just like that, they sack Constantinople. Turns out, that prince they helped out, he can't pay them, even after melting down the city's priceless relics and selling off the gold and silver. So the crusaders stick around, waiting for the money to come. Within two months, they'd already burned down the city. Again. Then the prince turned emperor dies, and the new emperor comes out and tells them, Look, we can't afford to take care of the 20% of our population that's now homeless, much less pay you off, so get lost. Then they light the city on fire for a third time and decide, Screw it! It's ours now! Constantinople's a crusader state. So, word gets back to Pope Negligent. What the hell did you do? What the hell did you do? You're all excommunicated. This is unacceptable. It's a shame I can't do anything about it. Oh well, better go establish some dioceses. But to his credit, he genuinely had no knowledge of the event until after it happened. He benefited from the situation, but he didn't intentionally launch a crusade against Christians. For another five years until he literally did exactly that. Oh yeah, this is where the story gets real crazy. Southern France, Northern Aragon area, there was a group of Christians called the Cathars. Now, they were Gnostics, so their beliefs were pretty out there, but not unheard of. If you want more info, check out this video by Religion for Breakfast. It's brilliant. But basically, they thought everything worldly and material was evil, everything spiritual was good. One of the reasons this didn't sit well with the Catholic Church was because the Cathars believed that Old Testament God was basically Satan, since he made all the icky physical world stuff. But Jesus still checked out with them, and New Testament God was totally A-OK. -okay. So the Catholics weren't big fans, and the Cathars, for their part, didn't really want to be part of the Catholic Church anyway. But there was one big problem in trying to crusade against the Cathars, which they figured out when trying to purge the town of Béziers. Sir, uh, how are we supposed to tell which ones are Cathars? Uh, well, I, uh... Huh. 
Better kill everybody just to be safe. And in proud crusader fashion, they burned down the entire town, cathedral and all. I mean, we're talking somewhere between angry Genghis Khan and Sodom and Gomorrah levels of destruction here, if contemporary sources are to be believed. Take a second and imagine if tomorrow the Pope decided, that's it, no more Mormons, and napalm Salt Lake City. Makes barring Jews from public office and making non-Christians wear identifying clothes look positively tame in comparison. And then Pope Malevolent releases a bunch of new laws, which was actually pretty significant, I just don't have time to go over all of them. But basically, he was declaring to Christians throughout Europe, I'm still the boss of you! Plus, he got transubstantiation sorted out and put an end to trial by ordeal. Yeah, alright. Credit where credit is due. Then he started organizing another crusade, this time with the notable exclusion of Venice. At this point, who knows which city is gonna be cremated? Maybe it'll be Jerusalem, maybe it'll be Stockholm, who knows? But before he got the chance to find out, he caught a fever and died. Hey, hey, it's been a while. Things got a little crazy the last few months, had to take a hiatus. Not sure what the future holds, so for now, videos come out when they come out. Just be sure to subscribe, maybe even click that bell so you don't miss the next time I come out of my cave. Cheers.